It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Raiders and the Titans, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. We are in a sweet spot as far as football weather is concerned today in Nashville. Just enough chill in the air for a sweatshirt, light breeze, fall in full swing at Nissan Stadium. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Tennessee Titans. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. starting training camp but here we are in October and off we go on EA Sports. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And look at this. Right away a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. to the air is Carr. And his first pass is incomplete. That's only as good to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job oh, there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Meanwhile, Carr. And oh, right away, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they were, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, they've got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team, 10th overall in the NFL, Ryan Tannehill. There were a few eyebrows raised when Tennessee took Malik Willis in the third round this year, but rest assured, Ryan Tannehill is still the man in Tennessee after leading the Titans to the top seed in the AFC last season. His 12 wins were the most he's posted in nine seasons as an NFL starter. And he's only the third quarterback to lead the Titans to three playoff appearances in the NFL, joining Steve McNair and Warren Moon. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper in second down. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out of that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. First 
first and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Titans use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, I think Josh Norman can sympathize. He knows a little something about a run like this from Derrick Henry. I mean, that stiff arm might be the best in the business. Oh, there's no doubt about it. We'll see that Josh Norman play forever and ever, won't we? Because at Derrick Henry's size, 6'3", nearly 250, you know he's not shying away from contact. And here he just kept the defender at arm's length as he barreled his way into the end zone. I mean, just put that arm into the chest, and there he goes. For the point after is Randy Bullock. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. Just a third play drive that time. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They had to fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Throwing now is Carr. Got a man, it's Darren Waller. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. He got 29 yards that time. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now Carr. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's another first down, as this time they get an even 20. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. A first carry for Amir Abdullah. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. On first down, Carr. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it facing a second and long situation. The car's throw pulled in by Renfro. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. An extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Play action. Now it's Carr. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. So Carr will depart, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson, for the field goal try. 
It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. The kick by Carlson is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll run it again with Henry. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Now is the Titans punter. Hunter Renfro deep to return for the Raiders. Taking it about the 16. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raiders heading out to take over. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll Watch take out. it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, hit him. And a loose football. It's picked up by the Titans. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover as they'll try to get some points here before halftime. Following the fumble recovery, Tannehill. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Here's Tannehill. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. That's interference. Defense. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Penalty is declined. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. And this one's right through, making a 14-3 ball game. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it's capped off by the Austin Hooper touchdown. will send this one away after the touchdown. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp. 
and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. He's got a man complete. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Here's Carr to throw. Oh, looking for Waller, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Bud Dupree. And the Titans are going to have it here just past the 25. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. And that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Hey, oh, hey. After the interception, here's Tannehill. He's got a man complete. And they got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 34. Able to hit out a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. On first and 10, Tannehill. That's complete to Traylon Burks. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. Bullock's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, a look at the next-gen stats for the Raiders in that first half. And they didn't get a whole lot accomplished through the air in those first two quarters of play. They'll need to up their game if they want to rally all the way back. Final adjustments being made in both locker rooms. We're just about ready for the second half and for the call. Let's get you back up to Nashville, Music City, and Brandon Guy. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Taken in at the three. And up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 26. He'll start with a give to Henry. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, it's Henry. He'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Tannehill. And that will 
be incomplete. So good coverage there defensively as it looks like they'll force a punt on this opening drive of the third. Well, let's coach them up a little bit from right here in the booth. That's exactly what they needed to do. They need to start stringing together some stops, turning the ball over back to their offense, and trying to get back into this game. Yeah, a couple scores down, but they can eat into that quickly with a nice drive here on the other side. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that when we're having a tough patch. This two show play. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. It's picked up by the Titans. Shreds it with a stiff arm. defense forcing plays and, and, and getting takeaways but an interception and two fumbles in their last three offensive possessions time to readjust yeah they, you, you can't just give all the credit to the defense on that they've got to look in the mirror and take the blame themselves and figure out how to not do it anymore here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively they were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Then he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. Four yards the pick up, first down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw, Tannehill. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Tannehill in the sideline, Randy Bullock out now for the Tennessee field goal. Bullock's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they got the turnover, started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goal post right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six, and boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Carr. It's caught here by Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. Carr 
now on first down. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Car to throw again. The open man here, Renfro. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. I think it's easy to say how many people expected 100 catches or 1,000 yards out of Hunter Renfro last season. But it's time to set those low expectations aside. He's one of the breakout players at receiver in the NFL and one of the better. The football comes out. Jacobs lost it. It's picked up by the Titans. And they're going to bring this one back. A fumble return touchdown for the Titans. And he has great speed, defensive back speed. Once he got and took off, there was no catching. And I know every team tells you to hustle, no matter what the play, but there was no chance of catching him. Maybe if it had been a defensive tackle running with the ball, but not in this case. Now Bullock to add the extra point. And the lead is now 24. The scoop and score is an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score and not willing to risk another fumble he'll sit on this one it's a touchback here's Las Vegas ready to take the field to where we stand right now in the fourth quarter this one pretty much out of reach and Charles I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game but the self-inflicted wounds they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days you're absolutely right about that partner because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future and mentally I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the gun, it's Carr. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Carr looking to throw on third and two. And a throw there going to be incomplete. They lead big. And a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now Carr, got to have this one. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Titans, they've got the football back and they've got it in great field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't matter. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The Titans set and ready to go on offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. down carry for Henry and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two and it brings up second down 
The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. Yeah, in this part of the game, the fourth quarter, this is where a running back really has a chance to shine. This is what they've been training for to take over the game down the stretch. The defense, it's been battered all game long. And here, this is just a case of a runner imposing his will and deciding he didn't want to be tackled right there. Inside handoff, Henry. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. You get down in this area of the field, you know you're going to get a heavy dose of number 22. They stopped him for a short game there, but can they do it a couple more times? Trying to punch it in with Henry. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Try and run it in with Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit, but going for two in this situation, somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you it. I mean, you, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No. No, okay. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll set up a throw. He's got a man complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review of this being inside two minutes of play. Everything coming from up above. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. Now Carr. And this one too low. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. A dump off for Abdullah. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his car on third down. And the 
this will be incomplete. One second left to go. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. One final try now for Carr. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed.